In this morning's Health Watch, the automated external defibrillator. It's a simple piece of a medical equipment with a complicated name. It saves lives. And medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more on this for us this morning. Doc, good morning. Good morning, Chris. 15-year-old Tyler Symes nearly died when he was struck in the chest by a hockey puck, but he was lucky thanks to an AED nearby and a trainer who knew how to use it. Tyler Symes started playing hockey when he was just four years old. He was getting coached by dad. He was the kind of player Paul Agnes loved to coach. Even though he's very small, he plays like he's 200 pounds. But a freak accident last December ended Tyler's season and nearly took his life. Tell me what you remember about the dink game that you got hurt in. Don't really remember even going to the rink or anything. There were 37 seconds left in the first period when Tyler's coach and athletic trainer came running out on the ice. When you saw him fall to the ice, did you immediately know that something was wrong? Yeah, definitely. Ben Symes knew something was wrong too and urgently called his wife. He said, Tyler's down on the ice, he's not breathing. Um, I'll call you back and let you know what's going on. And he'll never forget that moment when the trainer couldn't find a pulse. Just knelt down on the side of him, held his hand, and just waited. A hockey puck had hit Tyler in the chest at the precise fraction of a second between heartbeats, causing a condition called commotio cordis that results in cardiac arrest. 75% of injuries like Tyler's are fatal. This is the actual one. But fortunately, trainer Jody White had just the right equipment in her medical bag. I remember somebody saying, you got to push the button. An automated external defibrillator, or AED, that got Tyler's heart beating again. We gave three shocks. And at the third shock, that's when the Marlboro Fire Department EMT showed up. By the time cardiologist Dr. David Kane treated Tyler in the ER, he was breathing again on his own. Kane said it was the defibrillator and CPR at the hockey rink that saved Tyler's life. Having personnel there that can access defibrillators and knowing where they are and, and being able to recognize what a cardiac arrest looks like are the most critical points because uh, in his situation, they had a defibrillator on the ice within uh, seconds. Massachusetts, where Tyler was rescued, and four other states have pending legislation requiring schools to have automated external defibrillators. Another 12 states already have laws in place. Tyler had to learn to walk and eat again in the days after his traumatic injury. But thanks to a life-saving AED, he's hoping to get back out on the ice next season. I am very thankful to those people that did help me. They're definitely my heroes. Now, the injury Tyler suffered is rare, but 34 states have no laws or are not considering laws to require AEDs at sporting events, so athletes from baseball to lacrosse players remain at risk. Chris. Up to 7,000 kids a year die from sudden cardiac arrest. Right. Why aren't these available at more sporting events? You'd well, think everyone would want to do it. Exactly. You would think that. And in fact, the laws do vary state to state. There is probably a funding issue. The cost of these devices ranges from $500 to $1,500. So so again, more patients and players and parents who get involved and speak to their coaches, their schools about getting these there, even donating one, could literally save a life. Let's talk about just chances of survival, should you have one of these present at a sporting event. Well, to be clear, Chris, you want to activate the 911 system immediately. That is yeah. the most important thing. It's called the chain of survival. And then you want to initiate hands-only CPR. But with a defibrillator there, your chances of surviving an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest go up by 90%. Every minute counts. So literally seconds having this on the sidelines or on the bench could save a life. How easy to use for people if they need to Incredibly use it? Incredibly easy for lay people, Chris. In fact, the, these devices, you press the on-off button. They have two uh, paddles. They, t they tell you exactly where to put them. And literally a sixth grader has been shown how to use this almost as fast as a trained paramedic. Incredibly simple, and really you're gonna be seeing a lot more of them, hopefully, outside. Easy directions, just turn it on and then hit the shock button. Absolutely, huh? and tell everyone to stand clear while right. you've called 911. Should have these at sporting events, because I've seen there's a story actually locally of a young man who got hit with a pitch who was pitching. Correct, uh, so and it, I uh, have one, and yeah. I bring one to all of my children's right. hockey games. Doc, thank you very much. You bet.